do it. Uh, today's Wednesday, right? Today's Monday? Shit. All right. Nice. Cool. <laughs> yes, you got it. Ah, that makes sense. All right, welcome back, guys. Um, welcome. Sorry, let's do that again. All right, welcome back, guys. Um, we got another awesome workout for you today. It is Tank Top Tuesday, which you can see all the gear from the coaches, myself included. Uh, I got Coach Tommy Carter behind me, Coach Marisa, and Coach Gav. We're gonna bring you guys an awesome workout. Uh, before we do, let's get warmed up. Uh, we're gonna just start with some jumping jacks to get the calves going, the heart rate up. So in three, two, one, let's go. Nice and easy, just moving the feet. Okay, try to stay in rhythm with us. Okay, just open up the lungs, getting the calves going. We got the jump rope involved today and an awesome uh, modification for it as well. About 10 more seconds. And three, two, one. Good, you're gonna bring your feet to a wide stance. We're gonna do what's called a three position touch. So you're gonna reach on up, touch in front of your feet, reach on up, touch in between your feet, and then reach on up and you're gonna reach behind those heels. Just gonna keep repeating. Trying to get the hamstrings nice and warm right now. So try to keep your legs straight and as you're lowering, drive your hips and butt back. Good, a few more reps. You're gonna do the entire thing one more time. Okay, good. From here, we're gonna go into what's called the frog burpee. So what you're gonna do is you place your hands on the floor, kick your feet back, kick your feet up to your hands, pull your hips down, chest up, that makes one. Okay, here we go. Good, okay, trying to warm up that squat. So when you pull your hips down, keep your chest up, drive your knees out. Couple more. Last one. All right, back to the jumping jacks in two, one, let's go. Very good. Got a fun one for you guys today. A little bit on the longer style, a new style that we haven't done in yet. Um, so it will definitely be good. About 10 more seconds. In five, three, two, one, good. We're gonna go back to that three position ton, touch. So once again, that wide stance, reach on up, front of the toes, reach on up, in between, reach on up, reach back. Very good. Good, one more rep. All right, we're gonna finish up with some frog burpees. Here we go, hands on the floor, kick the feet back, kick them up. One, two, three, four, five, good, six, two more. Seven, good, last one, and eight. All right, guys, awesome stuff. So that's gonna conclude our warm up. Let's go into the workout. So I'm gonna grab the whiteboard. Hopefully you guys can see what I wrote. Today what we have is an EMOM. EMOM stands for every minute on the minute. Today we're gonna be going for 20 minutes, rotating through five stations. So let me explain. Uh, station one, we're gonna be doing Macho Man. Macho Man's is a benchmark workout, all right? What it is is three power clean, three front squats, and then three jerks. You'll do that on the right hand and then the left hand. With time remaining, you're gonna be doing max double unders, okay? Once the minute up is up, we'll move on to the next station. The next station is going to be 15 hand release push-ups. Once you finish the hand release push-ups, you'll then once again do max double unders. Then we'll go into the third minute, okay, which is going to be 20 hand-to-hand -hand swing. The same pattern repeats. Once you finish the hand-to-hand -hand swing, you have max double-unders with time remaining. 
And then the fourth minute, the fourth station, is going to be 35 mountain climbers on each leg with time remaining max double unders. And then there's going to be a fifth station, which is just a full minute of rest. And we'll repeat that for four rounds, 20 minutes. So once again, guys, big thing, sorry, I'm catching my breath still, um, is that we're going to be doing a lot of double unders. So once you finish each movement within the minute, the whole time remaining within that minute is going to be as many double unders as you can. If you don't have a jump rope, don't worry. We got a good modification for you. So let's go over Macho Man. So for Macho Man, we got three power cleans, three front squat, three jerk on each hand for a total of nine reps on one side, nine on the other, 18. So um, I'm going to have her show one rep of each movement, the power clean, the front squat, and then the jerk. It looks like this, power clean, front squat, jerk. Good. So let's go over the power clean relatively fast. Okay, the starting position, hips are down, chest is up, opposite hands off to the side, arms nice and long. From here, she's going to fully extend her hips, jump, and land in a quarter squat. Okay, when she lands in that quarter squat, okay, come down to your quarter squat from here real fast. Okay, hips and butter back, elbows nice and high, back head of the dumbbell should be resting on her shoulder. She then stands to complete the rep. Do one more. Good. From here, she'll stand it all the way up and she'll maintain this posture. And then just go into a squat. Drive the knees out, hips and butt back, stand to complete the rep. One more time. Good. And then from here, she'll go into her jerks. For the jerk, once again, same posture, back head's resting. Okay, she's gonna dip with her knees out, her chest is up. From here, she's gonna fully extend the hips, jump down, punch. You see she lands, okay? Come back down to that landing position for me really fast. Okay, arms fully extended, knees are out, okay? Uh, then she stands to complete the rep. All right, so as she dips, she extends, goes under the dumbbell, and then stands to complete. Thank you. So you'll do three power cleans on the right, three front squat, three jerk. Then you'll switch to the left, three power clean, three front squat, three jerk. Um, I just want you to give me your attention for Coach Gab really fast, okay? He's gonna be using a kettlebell today. This is how you're gonna do the clean. Just check it out. Good, one more time. Back down, pause. Okay, so it's the same setup. He's gonna extend the hips, elbow goes high and outside, and then just upper cups. Okay, good. And then when he's, I'm not gonna show the front squat, it's the same thing, but for the jerk, just notice how he's letting the bell rest on his arm. Okay, that's where you wanna place it, okay, when you go in to do that rep. Just show one real fast. Good, awesome. So it's the same thing, just a little different. Um, from here, we're gonna go into some hand release push ups. So Coach Gav will take your attention. Okay, for the hand release push up, what it is, is just show one real fast. Okay, so you can see at the bottom, he just releases his hands from the floor, okay? And then puts them back down and presses up, all right? Um, if you can't do it from your toes, no big deal. You could always just go to your knees, Gav, if you wouldn't mind just showing one real fast. Same thing, release the hands and then press up, all right? That's all. Uh, from there, we're gonna go into the hand-to-hand -hand swing. We have a dumbbell and a kettlebell. Gav will show it real fast with the bell. It's gonna be a switch at the top. Just throw a few quick reps. Notice that he drives his hips and butt back, fully extends that. The bell is coming up. He just releases very subtly and switches hands. Show a couple with the dumbbell, please, Maurice. Okay, notice as it's coming up, that opposite hand is ready to catch and bring it right back down through the legs. All right, all right. And then the final one is just gonna be the mountain climber. Okay, Gav, just a couple reps. We're looking for range of motion today, guys. Same knee, same elbow. We're gonna be doing 35 on each leg, so really it's 70 reps, okay? So here's the thing. Each of those movements is on the minute, okay? With the time remaining in each minute, you're doing max double under. So, for example, the first round, you're doing three power clean, three squat, three jerk on the right, and then you do it on the left. Three power clean, three squat, three jerk. Let's say that takes you 40 seconds. That means you have 20 seconds uh, left in the first minute. With that time remaining, you're either going to be doing max double unders or max single unders. If you don't have a jump rope, Maurice is going to show you what you're doing. It's just going to be a lateral hop over the dumbbell. So check it out. Two footed top, two footed takeoff. Okay, so you're just going back and forth. Okay, once that minute is up, you stop your double unders or your hops. Okay, and you move on to the next minute, which is the hand release push ups. And that pattern stays the same for the all four stations. The fifth station is a minute of rest. We're gonna rotate through this for four times, which makes 20 minutes. Everyone good to go? All right, Coach Tom's using a barbell. If you're using a barbell, tone in on him. It's the same exact movements. If you have a barbell, I'm assuming you know these three. All right, so let's get after it today, guys. Here we go. In 10 seconds. In five, three, 
two, one, let's go. If you're doing a barbell, okay, it's just three reps of each. Okay, three reps of each. Three power clean, three front squat, three jerk. Okay, you can check out Coach Tommy in the corner right now if you have a barbell at home. Just letting that barbell sit on the chest, okay? Keeping his elbows nice and high as he squats. He's now going into his three jerk. Nice, Tom, there you go. Good. All right. Tom is done with Macho Man. He's moving on to the jump rope. Gavin and Maurice are right behind, okay? You now have, with time remaining, max double unders. It's about 20 seconds. 20 seconds, guys. Ten seconds, good. In five, three, two, one, and we're moving on to the hand release push-ups, guys. Fifteen reps. Once again, I want you to notice as they lower. Okay, they keep their elbows nice and tucked to the ribs. Okay, once the chest touches the floor, they release the hands, place them back down on the floor, and then extend at the top. All right, at the top of the position, your arms should be fully extended, elbows locked out. Really focus on making sure you finish the rep, okay? You watch Coach Sami every single time, it's clear that those elbows are locked out. Nice job, guys, you're 30 seconds in. Keep moving, and Coach Gav is now on to the jump rope once again, and he is moving strong. Good. 15 seconds, guys. Keep it on up. In 10. That's it, Maurice, come on. In five, we're going to the hand-to-hand -hand swing. In three, two, one, 20 hand-to-hand -hand swing. 10 on each arm here, guys. Really focus on fully extending those hips, guys. Drive the hips and butt back. It is by no means a squat. All right, you want to be focusing on locking out those knees and squeezing the quads, okay? Squeezing the quads and squeezing the glutes. That's where the power comes from. Nice job, Gavin. That's it, my man. Good, okay? Remember that switch is happening as the bell's coming up. Right before it goes down, you want to be catching the dumbbell and bringing it between the legs. Good job, guys, you got 25 seconds. Yeah, looking smooth. We're finishing up round three. Oh yeah, looking good, guys. Come on. 10 seconds. Nice shot, Maurice. In. Five. We're going to mountain climbers in three, two, one. 35 mountain climbers. We're going uh, left, right equals one, so it's really 70. Once again, guys, we're looking for range of motion and speed, okay? Same uh, knee, same elbow, okay? Keep moving those legs. We're going unbroken. Try not to come down. That's it, guys. Good work, good work. After this round, we do have a minute of rest. Let's earn that rest, guys. You're looking good. That's it, Maurice. Let's go, Tom. There it is. There it is. They got 25 seconds of double unders. A whole minute of rest is coming their way. There it is, come on, come on. In 10. In five, three, two, one, and rest. All right, guys, one round done. We're gonna be doing four total, so we have three left. Uh, just a quick thing, okay? Uh, double unders or lateral hops over the dumbbell are, is your score today, the total repetition. So I hope you counted those reps. Um, if you did, now is a great time to write down the total amount of reps you did through that first round. So if you got 40, 30, 30, and 20, okay? That means you got 120 reps. So write that down for me, okay? Um, right now, just relax your breathing, okay? Relax the arms, it's gonna get grippy. And uh, let's go for a ride, guys. Good stuff. Got just under 30 seconds until round two. Once again, we're starting with Macho Man. Very good. Okay, this round, if you got a barbell, if you can, check out Coach Tommy. Once again, it's only three power clean, three front squat, and three jerk with the barbell, okay? You don't gotta do both sides because there's only one. All right, guys, here we go in five, three, 
two, one, let's go. Okay, right now, guys, I really want you to be focusing on utilizing your hips, okay? Get nice and tall, squeeze the butt. Very good. Good okay, job, guys. Finish those jerks. Sit, Tom. Nice, bud. There it is. Come on. Yeah, nice job, guys. Lots of time here. 30 seconds. Good job, Gab. There it is. Come on. Press up. Boom. There you go. Good job. Boom. There it is. Nice. All right. And we're moving. Looking good, guys. Macho Man is definitely the tougher part of this Imam. Getting through it in the first round. Definitely kicks it off for the first minute. Nice job, guys. You got 10 more seconds. In five. Three. Two. One, hand release push-ups. Here we go. Um, if you're doing for them from your knees at home, that's great. Check out Coach Marie. She does a good job. All right, really keeping her elbows nice and tucked, okay? You can see in the bottom position, her hands are in line with her shoulders and her chest. If your hands are in front, it makes the push-up so much more challenging to complete, okay? So really make sure your hands are in line with your chest and shoulders when you're in the bottom of that push-up, okay? Feel free to break these up as needed, guys. Sick app. Let's go, Tom. Nice, man. Good stuff. Sick, Gavin. Nice job, my man. All right, and we're moving. We're moving. Got 20 seconds in round two. Minute two. Nice. Looking good. Okay, when you're on, do, if you're doing double outers at home, make sure you keep those hands nice and close. We're going to the hand to hand swing in five, three, two, one, let's go. If you got a heavy bell at home, okay, not to worry, and the hand-to-hand -hand swing might just be too much for you. Check out Coach Tommy in the back. He's just doing a traditional two-handed Russian swing. All right, you can also do that as well, okay? Whatever suits you, make sure you do that at home. Good, Tom. That's it, man. Follow the bell with your eyes, guys. That's the big thing, okay? The whole time you should be staring at that bell, especially as it's coming through your legs. Don't lose track of it, okay? Keep looking at the bell and maintaining that nice posture. Sit, Cap. Good job. And right now, if you have a bend in your arm, do not. You wanna let that arm be nice and long, guys, okay? It's gonna save your grip in the long run. All right, you got 20 seconds. Come on, let's get on it. Let's get on it. Got one more minute after this and we're finishing up round two. Looking good. 10 more seconds, Tim Maurice. Good, Maurice is bouncing right back and forth in three. Two, one, 35 mountain climbers. Here we go, guys. Move the feet, move the feet. Let's go, let's go. Looking good. This is definitely a core movement to mountain climber, but it's also very just holding yourself in plank and having to move your feet back and forth. If you breathe heavy on these, you should, all right? Don't worry about it. Keep up the good work, okay? We're finishing up round two. Nice job, guys. Come on, come on. There it is, there it is. Nice. Okay, focus on crunching that stomach. That's gonna engage the core a little bit more. Okay, you might feel them a little better. All right, here we go, guys. 25 seconds, earn your rest. We got a full minute of rest coming your way. Let's go, let's go. There it is, there it is. That's all right, if you trip up, guys, get right back on, pretend like it didn't happen. All right, we got 10 seconds now. Come on, come on. In, five. Three, two, one, and rest. Nice job, guys. All right, two rounds in the books. We got two more to go. We're officially at the halfway mark. We're getting over the hump this round, okay? Try to control your uh, breathing. Let your body breathe how it wants to. If it wants to breathe heavy, don't try to stop it, all right? That's not gonna help you, just breathe, okay? Relax the arms, okay? The grip is probably settling in, all right? And the shoulders as well. You guys are doing awesome. Probably got about 30 seconds, a little over. Oh man, good job. All right, third round guys. All right, it's always the toughest round, especially mentally, okay? Cause you still have one more to go and it's starting to get tough. This is when you gotta push through. This is where you get fitter, right here. All right, let's get after it. We got 15 seconds. Once again, we're gonna be starting with Macho Man. All right, keep up the good work. All right, in. Five, three, 
two, one, and here we go. Okay, once again, if you got that kettlebell at home, check out Coach Gab every time that bell's going to the floor. Okay, we're not going between the legs today. Very nice. Good, Gab. Come on, buddy. There it is. Let's go. Nice, looking good. Maurice is going right into a muscle clean. If this dumbbell feels light for you, she's not dropping under, she's just bringing it right to the shoulder. Nice, Maurice. Good job. Here we go, right into those jerks. Nice. And three, very good. All right, let's go, Gav. Yeah, Gav, good job, man. All right, Tommy's moving on the dubs. Maurice is moving on the hops. The lateral hops look tough, all right? I, I can imagine if you're doing these at home, they are challenging. Do your best to keep moving, okay? Keep it up. Nice job, guys. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. There it is, there it is. In. Three, two, one, let's go. Come on, hand release push-ups. Coach Tom's putting on a clinic over here in the corner, all right? But you could still tell, even though he's getting more tired, all right, he's still finishing out those reps. Every single time it is evident that he is locking out the arms, okay? That's a big thing. We're really, we're really strict on that. Nice, right, Tom's taking a quick break, just relaxing the arms, he's gonna go back on. Good, you guys have 35 seconds left in this round. Tom, come on. Okay, I like to focus on putting all the weight in the bottom part of my palm when I'm doing push-ups. That's something I like to focus on. All right, here we go. That's it, guys, you got a little over 20 seconds, right to it, you gotta move. There it is, Maurice. Good, 10 seconds. In five, three, two, one, and here we go. Right to that hand-to-hand -hand swing, guys. Looking good. Okay, that little switch at the top, although it does make the swing maybe a little more challenging, it does release the grip. If, you got a, uh, if you're doing the Russian swing like Tom, all right, and you need a little release of the grip, let's say it's just starting to hurt, what Tom's doing, I don't know if you can see it, it's very subtle, but at the top of the rep, he's slightly letting go of the bell and then re-gripping it as he's coming down. All that's doing is giving his forearms a quick little break. Looking good, guys, keep on pushing. 30 seconds in now, come on. Nice, Maurice. Oh yeah, all done at the identical time. Come on, let's go. Got 20 seconds. Let's go. Crushing it right now, guys, crushing it. 10 seconds. In five, three, two, one, and mountain climbers. Here we go now, getting it done, guys. We're getting it done, finishing up. Round three, we're almost there. Almost there. Sick Gab. Come on, come on. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Right back up, Gab, right back up. If you need to drop for a quick second home to relax those shoulders, it's all right, all right? Keep pushing though. Gotta get back up, gotta get back up. Good, 30 seconds in. We gotta get to that jump rope. Gotta get to that jump rope. There it is, Tom's there. Come on, Gab, back up, back up. Yeah, right to it, my man, right to it. Nice. There it is, Marisa. In 10. Five. Three. Two. One, and rest. All right, in my opinion, the toughest round is now done. You're three, three rounds in, you have one remaining, okay? We're finishing up, emptying out the tank, four minutes of hard work, and then we are done for the day. All right, keep it on up, guys. Let's finish this thing strong. got 30 seconds guys all right do your best to catch your breath right now i know it's definitely challenging i see how these guys are breathing and they're in great shape it's all right do your best to just try to control it going into this final round gotta get mentally tough and get hyped up for this we got 10 seconds let's get after it all right let's get after it in three 
two, one, last round. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Nice, guys. Boom. Good. 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 Yeah, Tom. Come on, hold on now. Hold on, guys. Yeah, Tommy. Good stuff. Let's go, Maurice. Yeah. Yes. All right. Macho Man is done. We are done with Macho Man. All right, we got 20 seconds on the clock. Yeah, there it is. All right, back on, Gav. 10 seconds. Let's go. Let's go. In five, three, two, one. Let's go. Yeah. Moving through these hand release push ups now, guys. All right, like I was saying earlier, I know it's, you probably don't want to listen to me anymore, but okay, put the weight in the bottom portion of your hand. Okay, that's where I really like to focus. I'm pushing the floor away from me, okay? I'm not even just trying to push myself up. I'm pushing the floor away, okay? Got a little over 30 seconds. Good. There it is. There it is. And we're on to the jump rope. Good job, Tom. Here we go, Gab. That's it, Maurice. Keep it up on these lateral hops. Good, 10 seconds. In five, three, two, one, hand to hand swing. Come on, we got two minutes to go, guys. Stay tough now, stay tough. Let's go, hold it on. There it is, nice, nice. Oh yeah, Maurice, good job, Maurice. Come on, keep pushing. Get that bell right to eye level. Quick little switch. Come on. Pull that dumbbell into you guys. Come on, let's go. Let's it, Tommy. Good job, Gav. Let's go, guys. Let's go, guys. Nice. Good stuff. Come on, we're on that jump rope. We got a minute 20 left in this whole workout, guys. Come on, grind through for the people at home. Let's go. Let's go. That's it, Gav. 10 seconds, come on. In five, three, two, one, and mountain climbers, final minute of today's workout, guys. Let's go, let's go. This is it, this is it. Gotta stay up for these mountain climbers. Stay up for these mountain climbers and just keep moving the feet. Just keep moving the feet. Just go somewhere else for these final reps, guys. We have 40 seconds left in this entire workout. Yeah, that's it, come on. Come on, keep pushing everybody. You're there now, you're there. 30 seconds, come on. Yup, yup, let's go. Let's go, get on it. We're working for the full 25 seconds now. Come on, Tim Maurice, let's get it, Gav. Yeah, Tom, let's go, let's go. 10 seconds, in, five, three, two, one, and rest. Oh yeah, awesome job guys. Great push, great push. So um, what I'm gonna have you do right now is just catch your breath, relax, breathe. Okay, we're gonna go into a nice little cool down stretch. I didn't know um, your, your heart rate's jacked up right now, so you probably don't wanna do that right away. So take a couple breaths, okay? Find your way on the floor, okay? And first stretch we're all gonna do is just starfish. So we're all just gonna be laying flat on our back, hands out to the side, legs out to the side, okay? And just relax, just catch your breath, okay? Focus on your breathing, deep breaths, okay? Try to breathe through your stomach, okay? Not into your chest, breathe through your stomach, through the nose. And you wanna feel your stomach expand and get bigger as you take that breath in. Focus on that, try to make your stomach expand. 
So then when you exhale, the air should come out of the stomach. You can even put your hands on your stomach to feel it like I'm doing myself. Couple more breaths. Okay, hopefully our breathing came down a little bit. What I'm gonna have you guys do is stay where you're at. You're gonna pull your left knee into, and you're gonna grab right on the back of your leg under the knee. And all I'm gonna do is extend the leg and then bend the leg. Extend the leg bend the leg you might feel something in your hamstring try to get that leg nice and straight if possible good nice and controlled good and switch up the leg Okay, you guys are gonna sit on up for me. And you're gonna bring your feet into butterfly. Okay. And you're just gonna push the knees down, try to drive the hips forward. Get a nice stretch in the groin area. Very good job today, guys. That was a lot of breathing. It looked like one of the tougher workouts we've done um, since we started these at-home workouts. Uh, great job, everybody. Way to push through that. Not an easy 20 minutes by any means. Okay, I'm going to have us do one more stretch for the calves. We're going to stand it on up. Okay, and we're just going to cross the feet. So the right foot over the left, have you guys come on down. Nice stretch. Good, stand all the way up, switch it on over. All right, and slowly come on up. Awesome work today, guys. Please subscribe to the channel, uh, like our video, and 